Hi guys, it's Genevieve and I'm back with another Copic Marker Color Process video for you. I'm going to start this time doing um, cool shadows with a light purple marker. Um, if you've watched my other color process videos, this is um, pretty different than how I normally start. Normally I'll start in with the base color of the skin and work lightest to darkest, but I've been trying um, new things with shading and color lately so um, I did a piece with purple shadows um, over the weekend and I really liked the way it turned out so I'm showing you that again on this piece and I'm just putting that purple in all the places where um, there's going to be shadow on her face And I'm going to blend that, I'm just going to go over it with the um, skin tones, and it blends really nicely. I just love the way that it looks. Um, this is my lightest skin tone, which is E000, and I'm really just um, sinking that color into the purple to blend it and to kind of merge those colors really well. And I'm leaving light spots like I always do on her nose and her cheeks where the highlights would be. And also a little on her shoulders and her cleavage where the light would, would hit it. And this is such a light shade that um, I really just go over it a lot. Now I'm coming in with the um, skin white which is E00 and going over it again just to add a little um, more pigment because um, the E000 which I think is um, pale fruit pink it's really really light and um, I like things to be a little bit more saturated as far as the color goes so um, the skin white is just really perfect for that and I'm blending it back with the um, pale fruit pink. And the purple was getting a little bit washed out, so I'm going back over the purple areas again. And blending again. I, I kind of just go back and forth until I get the blend that I want, until it just looks just how I want it to. And then I come in again um, with the Barley Beige, which that's normally my skin shade color, where I want the shadows to be. I normally just use the Barley Beige. And I, I'm doing that and deepening the shadows again. But still, the, the purple gives the shadows a nice, cool um, color. And here's the blush, which is E93 and E95. And I blend it again with the lightest skin tone. I'm doing the um, shadow on the whites of the eyes with um, cool grays. Just blending that in where the eyelashes are in the hair. I decided um, I wanted her to be a brunette. So um, I start out with a really light color. It looks like it's going to be a honey blonde, but um, this is the highlight color. So just give it a nice base with this shade and I've left highlights on on her bangs where the um, light hits and the hair has a nice shine then I come in with a darker shade this is E44 this shade and really I don't leave a lot of that honey color showing just a little bit because primarily her hair is, um, I wanted it to be a darker shade of brown. And 
And then I go with an even darker brown. This is E47, I believe. It's kind of really... Um, with darker colors, I like to do a, a high contrast. So I'll start with a much lighter shade and then go to a much, much darker and um, blend it in between. And lastly, I came in with um, E49. And I'm just not using a lot of that at all, just really small amount, enough to um, kind of put just little deeper shadows in just small areas. And it really kind of sets the whole thing off. And lastly, I blended it with um, just a really, really light shade, and that was, I think I used E30 for that, just to blend the colors. It didn't, I didn't want to add um, new color, I just wanted to blend the ones that were there. I'm making her eyes blue. One of my Instagram followers pointed out that there are no Disney princesses that are brunettes with blue eyes. And actually, I, I think off the top of my head that Ariel might be the only blue-eyed princess there is. Um, don't quote me on that. <laughs> but um, as a blue-eyed brunette myself, I decided um, I would do a blue-eyed brunette princess here. And I'm giving her kind of a... Um, violet pink dress, a pink that's got more of a purple undertones to it. And I'm leaving again spaces, um, light areas for the highlights where the um, light really hits. And blending that in with a really light pink. And I'm coming in the um, shaded areas with the darker pink, which is um, um, RV66 here. And blending it with RV63. Um, and the really light shade, I think I used um, RV20. And her um, sleeves are a darker shade of pink. So for the base color here, I'm using the RV66, which is the shadow on the bodice. And then I'm going to come in, right now I'm just going over with the RV66, but this is the RV69, which is really dark. It's almost a like a purpley maroon. And blending. I, I find with um, really saturated shades of color, sometimes it's hard to get them to blend smoothly, which drives me crazy. <laughs> I like really smooth blends as much as I can get. And I'm doing the skirt the same shade as the bodice. So lots of filling in here. I actually ended up using the broad um, tip, the chisel tip end of the marker there just to fill in, but normally I use the brush tip end. And I want her gloves to be a lighter shade of pink, so um, the shadows are the RV63, and the, then I went over it with the RV20. And I'm leaving shines because they're kind of satiny um, gloves that she's got on. So I left white areas where for the shiny part of the material. I'm shading the skirt with RV66. Um, I'm really not spending a lot of time on the detail down here. Just going over it with RV63 just to blend. And then the um, overskirt is um, going to be the darker shade again. 
So the base color is the RV66. And I'm leaving highlights again where, where the light hits the folds of the fabric just to kind of give the draped, a draped look to everything here. Where my lines, uh, my, my black ink lines are is, is where the um, shadows are, so I'm going along those with the RV69 here to shade underneath there. And I'm blending it back in with the RV66. And this material isn't shiny, so I don't want to leave those white areas stark white. So I go over it with the RV63, which makes it lighter, so you can tell the light is hitting on those, those folds there, but um, it doesn't look shiny. And there's the skirt. I give her um, pearls in her hair a little color with a really pale pink and a really pale blue. And then I just do the highlights with my white gouache on the eyes and the tip of the nose and the lips. A little bit on her lids there, give a little shine, and she's done. That's all for this week, so thanks for watching.